the Emperor Diocletian reigned from 284 to 305. He retired, and from 305 to 311 he lived here in a seaside villa in what becomes Split. We'll be exploring in a series of videos the vestibule, the mausoleum that becomes a church, temples, apartments, barracks, and extensive substructures. I'm live in Split, the palace of Diocletian. Follow me on Periscope, Twitter, and Instagram. It is it's about 6.30 in the morning in this amazing vestibule in the palace, the retired residence, military fortification of the Emperor Diocletian, famous for his persecution of Christians. And this is where he retired. This is where he died. So let's walk around here for a bit. This is an incredible palace, an incredible city. I got up early, I'm still jet lagged. So we'll walk around a little bit, walk around with me. And this uh, mausoleum of the emperor becomes uh, a church, becomes the principal church in the city. So you wanna share this with everybody, I'm gonna walk around with you. Good morning, I just wanna show you that it's, uh, it's sleepy time for the city of Split and it is quiet and we have the whole place to ourselves. So I'm very, very excited to be here and I will do this scope again later. I'll be here today and tomorrow and going down to Dubrovnik. Just want to show you that there's nobody here this early morning. This is exactly what you want. Hello, Pensacola. Yes, it's worth it. Sleepy time for the city of Split and it is quiet and we have the whole place to ourselves. So I'm very, very excited to be here and I will do this scope again later. I'll be here today and tomorrow and going down to Dubrovnik. Just wanna show you that there's nobody here this early morning and this is exactly what you want. Hello, Pensacola. Yes, it's worth it. Look at this bell tower, 62 meters high. Hello, hello. So I thought I'd catch you guys on the on the west coast that are still up. Six in the morning. It is really, really beautiful. So you're using a lot of local limestone, but then you're also importing granite and you're importing marble from other parts of the empire. Hello, New York City. We are in, hello, Seoul, Rhode Island, Caracas. We are in Split, the palace of Diocletian. So I love, you know, what Diocletian does in Rome. He has this huge baths uh, over there on the uh, near the train station today. He's doing a lot of things, uh, even within the uh, forum itself. And then, hey, San Luis Obispo. And then, of course, uh, you know, he retires, and he retires here in his in his home province of Dalmata, Dalmatia. Let me actually show you uh, a reconstruction right here. So. You So this is the core of the city of Split today. You see it was right on the sea. Thank you. And then here we have uh, the city as it is today. Yeah, it's my first time in Croatia. I'm extremely excited. That's why I got up early. But you can see this here where the mausoleum is located. Then you have now, uh, you have temples, you have residents, you have a view of the sea, and then you have military barracks and so forth in the back. So I'm in the Palace of Split, in the beautiful town of Split. So much history here, and no one is here. You're welcome. So let me just show you this right here because it is amazing. And this is totally recycled history. And that's Proconesian columns from Turkey, granite from Egypt. And we have it all to ourselves. Look at this. Oof. And this guy comes from Egypt, as the Romans brought things from Egypt. He, you know, Diocletian's still a Roman, and he brings this as a an artifact from part of that empire. It's early in the morning. So let me take you down this way. 
Like I've never been here before, so we're just exploring together. That's the fun thing about this. We can walk over here. Yeah, I'm getting plenty of sleep. Just, you know, a great place to explore. Here's some good Roman brick. So you can see things are being reused. Uh, it's one of the oldest structures in the site being used and still in use. This uh, mausoleum now is a church. Bells are ringing. No one's around. Sort of wandering through this historic city. Beautiful, beautiful level of preservation. Look at that right there. I think we can zoom in a little bit. Wow. Wow. This is iPhone 6 Plus. Oh, where does this go? <laughs> so we're going back to the 4th century AD. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And it's just getting better. So we'll be doing this again. I'll be doing this throughout the day. Got to get myself a MiFi device or something so I can do more scopes, longer scopes. But thank you uh, for joining me. Hello, Mexico. See how far we've gotten away from the center vestibule. And uh, it's not even seven o'clock. Just, I'm just can't wait to explore the city. Can't wait to explore this country. So. Thanks for joining me. Be back in touch again real soon. Let me give you a view of the sea in the distance. Oops. This was a castle fortification retirement home uh, palace of Diocletian. Here again in the vestibule of the palace of Diocletian. Let me take a little walk with you, show you some of the gates, and of course the magnificently well-preserved temple of Jupiter. So let's go for a little walk. Hello, Alaska. Get all rain here. No, this is an iPhone 6 Plus with a uh, gimbal. Welcome by the mausoleum, which is converted into a really impressive cathedral, 62 meter high bell tower. Walking down these Roman roads, and you might know some of these roads and paths if you watch Game of Thrones. So I'm here in Split today, gonna to split, split tomorrow. Gonna to see some other great sites nearby, I'll leave that for a surprise, and then down to Dubrovnik for a number of days. The trip is great, the trip is easy, it's like a 40 minute flight. There are four main gates, and here is one of the gates. So you have four of these. One goes right onto the sea. And what's also amazing, it took an, just a phenomenal tour around the entire city. Thank you to the city of Split. Thank you to a phenomenal guide, Dino. I'll be posting his information. And uh, the entire site that I'm walking on is all built upon a series of vaulted spaces. So basically 200 meters by about 160 meters you have these substructures, these vaulted substructures. I want to take you down one of them right now. Let's go over there and see some of the underground site, but I don't think we'll have much of a signal. It's very relaxing, great time of year to come. A little bit of rain, but who cares? Walking by again, this mausoleum of Diocletian. He's the emperor that, uh, he's the emperor that retires. So he saves the empire and retires right here. 
Temperatures in the low 50s or so. And I, I feel like I've got the whole town to myself. Look at this vestibule, look at these columns. Nothing but the best. Marble, granite, and even a sphinx. They brought dozens of sphinxes here. Maybe a dozen. Let me show you some of the, uh, it's very safe. Let me show you some of the underground space so you get a sense of what I mean that the whole city is on a series of vaulted spaces. Let's go downstairs. Again, I don't know how this, I don't know how the signal's gonna be. So, um, so I'm in Croatia in Split. Let's see what kind of signal we got. And the sea is right down there. Looks like we still got a signal. Stay with me. We're right to the sea at this point. Awesome. Fourth century AD. Oh, we've still got a signal, it's amazing. Huh. It's very cheap. Croatia is inexpensive. Croatia is beautiful. There's the sunset. I would have been standing in water in antiquity. Now look at the outer wall here. You can see some of the columns still appearing right there. Just... This promenade, as someone mentioned. And a beautiful sunset, folks. Welcome to Croatia. This outer wall here is the outer wall of the Castrum Palace built by Diocletian. Look at that. Oh, you're from Pula. How wonderful. I am traveling around getting to know the Roman history of Croatia and the history of Croatia. show you it's just so so many things to show you look at that yes absolutely I would be standing in water in the time of Diocletian Diocletian's from Dalmata Dalmatia it's now Croatia so somewhere around here he's it might have been was born and he builds this area to fortify himself and protect himself it's a beautiful promenade here Venice is a big power in the history of the area of Croatia. There's a lot of Italian influence, and of course, uh, Ottomans are here. A lot of people here. Napoleon's here. Rome is here with Diocletian. Temperature here is in. So, hello, hello from Croatia. Just want to say a big hello. You see how small the historic center is, but how important it is historically. Beautiful, beautiful country. Amazing people, great food, had a phenomenal day exploring. Going to be going around more of Croatia again tonight. And uh, yeah, I love the Romans, of course. Look at that. That's why we're here, right there. This incredible palace, incredible history. Thank you. Yeah, I think, uh, I think this is a real call to arms. Go to Croatia. It's a 40 minute, about an hour flight from Rome. Very safe, very charming. And uh, you know, the big season is July and August, but here I am, it's pretty much empty. I feel like I have the place uh, to ourselves. So yeah, if you wanna connect, you wanna collaborate, I'm happy to do so, just hit me up on